Welcome back, everybody. Jesse here from Wayward City Games, joined via satellite by my buddy, as always, Sir Jeff. Guys, guess what? I'm coming back next week. I'll All see you guys right. real soon. Well, hopefully one of us will be featured in this next video. But this one is the finals match from tonight's locals. Best of okay. nine. Tonight we have Grandis Kuagamon against Bealstarmon. What a great matchup. I Oof. love the Grandis. Grandis Not what, what you would deck. expect, right? No. Well, I mean, I, Grandis is a very good deck. And so is Bealstar. So it piloted right. Obviously, they both piloted well tonight. Yeah, very well. Rat, right. So now the curious thing is going to be what Tamer what package is he running with the grandness? You yeah. and I were just talking earlier about, you know, he basically got three routes of grandness. You got Mimi for the traditional green, mm -hmm. great consistent way. Blue for the Davis, extra card draw, maybe even splash and mega death, ice wall, whatever blue options your heart desires. Yep. And then also, and this matchup might be important. I haven't seen the deck, so I don't know what it's going to be. Hero with the delicate plan. All right. Might well, let's find out together. Because I was not able to watch this because I did not place first or second. <laughs> <laughs> There's just no bias there. That's All right. It looks like Beale Star is getting turn one. Okay. Yeah. Gauzy X, anybody in hand, file mod. Be curious to see his list, how many files he's playing. Because yeah. sometimes it's tough to play one or two. And if it's worth it playing the file mod over the uh, Debbie Mon blocker, but I don't know. Oh, the, top, the two cost play. over the one? Yeah. Yoko, best egg for the grandest for sure. Into the Koku Wax antibody. Hard playing. There it is, the Mimi. So he's yep. playing good. The green package, which there's yep. nothing wrong with the green one. I like the green one, I think, the most. I agree. I agree. Okay. All right. Block her out early, which I think is smart against uh, against green. Because a lot of times I green smart. likes to swing with the little bodies. I agree. I agree. And it's nice that he's having that. You know, defense up early while he gets set up because he's a little bit of a slower setup deck while the yeah. the grand the grand is can take off real quick. But another right, X Annie for the search. Okay. Grabbing the blocker, that's a good move, I think, because he can then digivolve on top of that grand uh, that uh Koku Wag just played and yeah. have a good blocker to block the eyes on. Good choke Even at one good, right, and help him out, but great memory management there by Grandis. That's that's awesome. Yep. Ooh, he's thinking. Oh, do I take it? Do no. I take it? <laughs> That's such a tough call, right? There it is, yeah. Oh, yeah, because you don't want them to get that dry engine or that trash engine started, right? Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, Ooh and look there. at that. Two level seven options in the it's trash like right off the get go. Fly bullets. Yep. Right away in the trash. So that's brutal. Ooh, and another yeah. one. Guys, okay, okay. Good use of memory. Good pressure going on. Good draw. So getting set up. pal okay the jamming pal he's gonna get set up there so already you know with all this digiverse stuff what his strategy is here oh into the okua x okay so that might be an indicator of what his hand is doesn't necessarily have the uh why would he get rid of his oh, okay oh okay so an early block there i don't know if that was necessarily a smart move but again get the... i don't know how this match is going to be oh, if that's there you go matter. he did get another uh, option in trash. Option in trash. That's true. That's true. There's the grandis. And he said he's getting set up with that grand. He's gonna be a nice digi burst security attack plus one there. Yep. Let's see what he does now. I think he's gonna. Yep. Him. Yep. There he goes. Yeah, because he yeah. got rid of his blocker. Yep. Terrier. What a good artwork of that terrier mon. He's obviously hoping that Eismon would probably die. I th yeah, because it has jamming, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're thinking, we're thinking. I think you got a fly bullet or you got a Beal Star if you have it to get rid of the Grand because that's it's such yeah, a tough call. Yeah, right? because you know where that, you know, I mean, you know, he's going, he's got to be going Grandis next. Yeah, yeah. Or you mean just Digiburst 1 gets the two checks and then unsuspends with Grandis, like you said. That's Oh, there Ooh, it is. Yeah. There it is, yep. Bill Star Fly Bullet, I think that was the right move. I do too. Yeah, I know it sucks giving him that much memory, especially Green. Green's green, probably. yeah. Green is terrifying to be like, here's yeah. eight. <laughs> especially yeah. with that Mimi. Yeah, but you got to set them back or anything like that, right? Yeah. Okay, to the Cobbetarium on. So now he's, he's going to be down two blockers. 
in his deck. So we'll see if that matters as well. Oh, there he is. He does have the uh, Okua. Okay. Oh, there it is. The Okua X. You yeah. love seeing the full stack. You just yeah. you love it. Okay. So if it, die, oh, if it dies, he gains two or whatever, right? Yeah. Yep. Just a quick reading of the card. I guess he's been fortunate enough not to play against that very much. So that's, uh, you know, welcome to the big leagues moment. <laughs> My first match tonight was against this green deck. Was so it? I, I oh. had to I had to read that card a bunch of times tonight too. It's good. It is a good it's very card. good. It's like very the punishing. Best level five, you know, and it sucks because you want to be a commentary bond fanboy, but it's just that's just so good. Yep. And I love There's this. Uh, he takes advantage of the attack always as soon as he can because you never know, especially against Beelstar, how long your stuff's gonna live. Yep, you have to. You have to. So now the question is does he suspend the Mimi before he starts going crazy with the swing so he has a level 5 and the raising? That's such a tough call, right? Because if you have the Arbor, yeah. or yeah. I guess in this well, case, I think he's gonna, Yeah, he's probably going to wait until this Digivolve comes through. I don't even yeah. know if he looked at it. He might, not, he might be so focused on doing the grandest. Or like you said, he has the hybrid in hand that he's trying to keep on board as a useful attack, right? Because that's going to be... This could be game, right? This could be, what, three checks if, he's, if he committed to security? Ooh, he's swing. So he has the piercing, right? Right. Yeah. So it's a great yeah. move. Oh, oh yeah. only one option. The calling from darkness is a good option to have in hand for sure. He's explaining the grandest, how it unsuspends, how it's too damn good. It's almost worth it to not kill the Beal Star, though. Oh, there it is. Okay, so now we know he's yeah. playing the blue package. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So he got look at look how much damage he did. He's so far ahead now. Right? Yeah. So, which but when you kill that Beal Star, you're just giving more food for another Beal Star. It's like he, you know, I, I would almost swing without piercing. You know what I mean? I mean just swing into security. Yeah. 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 Well, and well, take the check. The other body too. I don't know why he didn't kill the other body, but because the Beal Stars aren't that menacing when they're on the board by themselves. No. Plays the terror, yeah. I wonder if he just, you know, didn't think about the meme. Or maybe he doesn't have a level three in his hand, right? Yeah. Well, I know he has a level three. He just hard to play the terrier. Yeah. That's tough. It is hard to remember. I was yeah. struggling with that today with my tamers. Okay. Here comes another okay, check. Swing with uh, maybe jamming. Yep. Block it. Good move. Good move to block it. Crash his nail bone. Yep. He and I know. That that is our favorite purple option, right? You know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Love that option. I mean, that's what he's going to have to do to win this game is go wide fast, right? Wide super fast. Because we know that's now his third commentary on blocker, right? So I'm assuming he only plays four blockers. At most, yeah. Most, yeah. I mean, I guess you could play more, but generally that list only plays four. Okay, he's grabbing those two back. Okay, yep, yep. Swings with the eyes. Oh, it's dead. Definitely doesn't have jamming that time. Comes the more trash engine. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. What's great about the Beal Star is like as you play the Beal Star, that's your color requirement, you know? So that's yeah. your purple to play that purple option. Yeah. Here we go. Now, it I didn't see, but does he have the Schwarmer? If he had the Schwarmer, that would kill his board. I don't think so. Beal Star. Oh, it's a nice hour, too. There yeah. it is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's only three as well. Super cheap. Let's see what he plays. Oh, he is going hard in the paint. Okay. Not a bad move. Get rid of the block. He does have he to have a level five on board to activate that Mimi. So not super threatening yet, but he is walking a fine line by not having more than just one body out with four, four attacks to win. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Now here's the point, right? Like if, if uh greatest has the hybrid, he can win. Yeah. Or not, excuse me, not Grandis, excuse me, hybrid. If he has the hybrid, he can win. Yeah. Yeah. Because he can swing with the Terrier. There it is. Yep. Last Top check. It. He doesn't have, he's got to have it. Come on. We haven't seen any of them in his reveals when he played the Kokuwa. You're looking for the Arbor for game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, doesn't have wow. it. Okay. So, to and you know what? Have. If he would have suspended that Mimi last turn, he would have had that game winning attack. That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Still haven't seen the hybrid. Maybe he's not running off to see his list at the yet. I know he runs it. I'm sure he does. I, I honestly haven't seen the list. I can't remember if I saw one or not. 
if you're listening, I'm sorry, man. I'm not trying to judge you. That means <laughs> I, to, I promise no hard feelings. All right. Here comes the Beal. Boost. Okay. That's good. That's good. A great setup there. He's pretty far ahead, too, because if, if those two bodies live, no, the only way you'll start. Ooh, they're yeah, both three fun. cost. Yeah, they are both three cost. So there's. Ooh. What was a happy shower? Ooh, three cost. Yep, yep there it is. Shower. But he still has to get a blocker to prevent the guy coming out of raising. That's true. That's true. That's true. So. Uh, nail bone. Nail bone. Yep. 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 Three Beal stars. Wow. wow. Talk about needing a BT1 on me, right? That is a draw. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Wow, yes, that, sir. And a Gazi to prevent the oh, oh, and to prevent the memory boost. That was well played. That was very well I played. Took advantage of the uh, the misplay. Good job setting up the trash there. Well executed. Now that is a menacing board if I've ever seen one. Yeah. Now there's a chance. There's a chance he can get out of it, right? So he does have ways to get rid of the Gazi. He could probably swing with piercing. If he can get up there, right? Really, if he has the hybrid, he still can win. Right, because he promotes. He just has to get past the blocker, yeah. Yeah, but he'll get past because he has to block, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I got you. Yeah. So he's got the hybrid; he can do it. Which it sucks because none of the uh, the uh, Kokuwa X anybody hit um, Beetlemon or Metal Kabuterimon. I think sometimes they play both depending on what it is. Okay, there's one blocker. There's the last of the blockers. Four. You can't crack it. Can't crack the boost. Don't touch it. You can't use it. Don't touch (laughs) it. Just look at the nice artwork. Yeah. Hmm. This is tough. This is a tough one. I don't know this, how he gets out of this. I feel bad. I feel like he could have won that. It should have been his. Yeah. When he played that, when he just did evolve that blocker, I was like, oh, I think that I think that that's it. That's why I like the Mimi version the most. You know, like I, you know me, I'm not a fan of the delicate play, and I don't want to change the color of my deck just for delicate. Play. To run one option, yeah. Yeah. To run, yeah to run one option that isn't you know like I know it's great against matchups, but whatever. But it's like, you know, the Mimi, you just have such quick aggression. You have green hybrids that are already consistent in your deck that it just fits so naturally. Okay, there's the co- there it is. There's the hybrid. He's got it. Yep. yep. The metal commentary mod. Too late, which though. Is great. It is, it is. The damage has been done. It's going to yep. be too late. Because all he's going to have to do is um, um, nail bone again swing. with all yeah. the field stars are trash. He's got so many bodies. Yeah, yeah. that's a tough one to watch. But well played, definitely well, well played. played. Great job, guys. Yep, I'm excited to see game two. Now, does Grandis go first? Do you choose to go first or do you defer? That is such a tough call, right? I think Grandis, you go first. You up, especially depending on how many memory boosts you play, you have a chance to get those played, even though they probably have the Gazimon to counter. Get your Mimi out. I think the Mimi is such an important part of this deck that I think that you go first, hoping you can turn yeah. turn one the Mimi. You could argue second because chances are the three Musketeers player will break. Or that's true. You know, that's the, that's the weakness of that deck, right? Is you play so many options that just don't do anything. Turn one, you know, or having a twelve cost Beal start doesn't do anything for you. Um, but it really depends there. Side note. When when pile shuffling, I feel like I like odd numbers when I pile shuffle. I feel like it shuffles so better. That's just me, and I don't know if you've noticed that. I'm lucky number seven, if you haven't noticed. Seven. <coughs> lucky number seven. Great movie, if you haven't seen that. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody here is going to know what that movie is. Yeah, I always pile shuffle with seven piles. Seven. Because I always yeah. get... You get but seven rounds, why, seven rounds around, and then there's one left over. That way, yeah, I know but that's, that why, uh, that's why you and I aren't here on table one, you know? Oh, that's true. I, yeah. 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 We do seven piles, right? Or seven or nine. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was a fun night. So I'm, I'm excited to see these two guys finish this night off. Yeah. Both great players in our community. Great guys to talk with and deck build with and get their ideas with. So it's great to see them up here. All right, boys, let's get this going. Okay, Is he shuffling eggs 
Jersey playing a fifth egg and Beale Star? I don't I'll know. I'll have to see the list. See what he's playing is. <laughs> that would be a neat trick. Let's see. Who opted to go first? So, again, no mulligans here. That would make the Beale Star deck even stronger. Absolutely. Looks okay. like Grandis, Grandis go is going. First. Yep. Yoko into the. Uh, is that, oh, Pomumon. Nice. Yes. Good call. Good call. Yes. So he's running both the Terriermon and the Pomumon. Yes. I ran into that Pomumon in my security Digimon deck tonight. Good. Yeah. Good defensive level threes. Okay. Love the Miss Memory Boost. That's your favorite. Oh, oh there's lost. the blue. There's the blue. He plays the hero. Or the blue. Uh, what is that? The, yeah. Kiro. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it sucks because he just trashed two of the cards that he needs. Like he level three, he only runs so many. Yeah. And the tamer, so he can use character's breath when he wants to. But he's not gonna be able to recover that. So I don't know how many of the tamers playing if he can get out of that. Yeah. If he's even gonna need it, right? Because if it triggers the security, it's fine. Swing, Swing the carrier. The carrier. Oh, there you go. Speak of the devil, <clears throat> there's up be. He hard played it. Interesting. It, I'm yeah, assuming he has another level three in his hand that he's going to digivolve next turn. I think he's going for that early game aggression, right? Try to get so far ahead, try to win the game before Bill Star can finish setting up. Gotcha. Yep. Okay, Okua X. No, that is the fifth egg right there. Pagu. It is the Pagu. Interesting. Okay. I got to hear your reasoning. Why five eggs? We'll talk offline about that. There's the Draco. So he's going to pull back the calling from darkness. Yep. 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 I love the drag in that. Ooh, good choice. I feel like I don't see a lot of those in those listening. Good memory choke, too. Yep, so there's the terrier. There's the other terrier, yep. Okay, there's a okay, blocker. The blocker. 104. Swinging again. Ooh, Gazi. Gazi. Oh, and he lived because I... Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Two, two on two. Yep. I always thought the pong was three for some reason. There it is. I love the memory boost. I gotta know how many boosts you're playing. We have this conversation all the time. You know what I'm talking about. Well, and he and I think that's smart too, because he just trashed a Gazi out of security. So it's like how many Gazis do you think he really runs in a Beal Star deck? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. He's playing Electroshocker and he's playing the Merciful. I talked to him about the Electroshocker. He likes it better than the Ground Fang. And I don't disagree. I, <laughs> I, I think it's better than the Ground Fang for sure. I do too. I haven't messed with Electroshocker enough, so I'll have to ask his opinion. But uh I see a lot of people starting to play the, the merciful mode. I feel like I just had a hard time finding room. Analog youth. That's a great analog youth. Got two in his trash. Yeah. Got the it was a vile mon that he got to hand too, didn't he? Yep. We know where that's yeah. going. <laughs> but you know, he probably hmm, yeah, I think it would be a good call. Yep. yep. Just like you said. Yep. Well, with no Mimi on the board, the best yeah. thing to do against green is just give him one. Yeah, yeah. Put in his opponent, put the greatest in like the spot he exactly wants him to be, right? He's, he's either going to use his, pre, uh, his memory boost premature. Yeah, you, know, you, you want him to use that boost now. You don't want him oh. to save it for when he has the grandest. Did you him for one into the Metal Kabu Terrymon? Interesting choice. 6K. They trade. I don't know if that was a wise move, but... No, I would have waited until the Terrier attacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think he's, well, just I mean, so focused. he's so focused on getting that early aggression. But you got to be careful against Beelstar because they can just nail bone that blocker back. Yeah, that's true. Okay, Coke Blocks, Antibody. I like the memory choke. You know, that's also a good point of why he should he should have tried to keep those Pomamons out there because if he keep the Pomamons yeah. out, he can't nail bone. I'm pretty sure you couldn't have grabbed that Palmon with that with that uh, on play there. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'll have to look at that. We'll have to look it up. Judge? <laughs> Kabu, okay. Oh, so there's uh, another blocker gone. You know what I mean about the Pomamon, though? What, I think sorry, he's, if he keeps the Pomamon out, then he can't nail bone. Yep. Well, I don't know yep, if he realized right. that. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think he's just trying to go for the trade-off, you know, get such yeah. early aggression going on, try to get ahead of the Beale Star to where he can't recover. You know, it's too far ahead, you know. But yep. I think I think it's going to backfire. Yeah, because he's so deep now with these options. Yeah. In trash, he's about to play. Yep. 
You always know when you're playing a Beale Star opponent and they pick up that trash, you know what's coming. So they start down. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Or when you're playing a Gallant Mon person and they're like, how many cards are in your trash? Oh, shit. What we need to do is get Oscar to get that nice, pretty art analog use. Definitely yeah. worth it. All right. Gazi X antibody. Okay. Not a bad call when we give him two. I wonder if that's the pal money shouldn't have grabbed. Oh, well. <laughs> I feel bad. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to, you know, nag on him. No, man. We missed something last. At least, at least we didn't miss it this time, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're getting better at this for you guys. Yes. We care about your feedback. We want to be better at this. Okay, so he's doing the Kokuwa again this time. Oh, there's a blocker. Not a bad call. But see, now now here's the deal. is He's putting Grandis into a defensive spot. Grandis right. is not a defensive deck. Nope. Like, it's all gas. Having, yeah, yeah, yeah. Having to play reactionary like that is not going to work in his favor. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. He does have... He is far ahead, though, right? Because if he swings now, um, he can hit the last security, and then he can bring out that level three and hopefully win the game. Unless... You know, he nail bones, plays another blocker, or whatever, right? But forcing your opponent to give you, you know, give you that much memory. Well, he set Beale Star to the one. Yeah. So now he must be thinking about what he's going to do with one. Such yeah. a tough number. Yeah, because you only get one play, maybe. Yeah. Not a bad move swinging with that. Of course, he lived. Gazi X anybody. I forgot he's a 3K. Good DP yeah. on that. The X antibodies are all like, what, 1K more than their predecessor? I think it depends, right? Because the Augie's X antibody is 3K, and I'm pretty sure there's an Augie that's 1K, you know? That's true. Okay, Beal Star. Not a bad call. He's got to go for the nail bone, I bet. Think so? Yeah, you want to go wide, right? Got to have a blocker because he's got to stop. He's got to stop one attack. Yeah. Well, I guess he doesn't. Well, he, only has to stop he can kill attack. that. Yeah. If he just kills it, then he's playing You're a dangerous right. game, but he's. Yeah. Yeah, but he did set him to four, but he doesn't have any of the setup with the Mimi or anything like that. Yeah, he used his memory boost, didn't he? Yep. Yep. So we'll see if he can get all the way up to the greatest to punish. So there's there's that. That's not a bad call. It's the defense. Defense. Yeah. The Okuwa. Such a great level five. Yep. X Andy Body. Okay. Love it. Love it. Suspend. Gain a memory. Got it. Now he's going to do the X Andy Body. He throws an anybody option underneath it. He might be able to swing twice, right? Because he can swing, pierce the Beal Star. I mean, spoiler alert: I don't think he runs any of those. <laughs> You're not supposed to tell me. Hmm. Yeah. See, that's tough, man. Let's yeah. see how out of this. And when you think about decks that should get more than one swing, you're like, okay, green's right up there. Because he only needs two swings. Yep, he's so close. It's not even funny. So close. Uh, we're going yep, defense. That. It's rid of that. Not a bad call at all. Pierce. Call from dark. Okay. So he's got to figure out how, how do you get that one lot, or at least give. Ooh, that's tough. See if he had a Mimi out, he could hatch an egg and get the little three on the board, but it's not going to matter. No, because you know he's either got a fly bullet in his hand, another Beal Star. He's got something that's just gonna. That's not going to be there next turn. Yeah, no, nope, he's just going to kill it. Well, honestly, you can even just swing into it. You know what I'm saying? Draw one, trash one. Oh, I wonder if that's going to put him at just enough now in, in trash so he can continue his turn. Cool. Okay, okay. He can't get another swing this turn, can he? Calling from darkness. That's awesome because he just... Yeah. If he's cheap enough with the Beal Star to play for zero, he can nail bone and win the game right now. I haven't been keeping track of how many options. I don't think so, cheap. yeah. He's close. He's definitely close, but he can nail bone, play a blocker, or fly bullet and delete that. Yeah, or have, yeah. yeah have either, one. either one. Yeah. Yeah. That's tough. You just feel that momentum shift, right? This is where the Beal Star player wants to be. The Three Musketeers is okay with having zero security, but their trash is full. Yep. They literally just need like one turn to win. All they're waiting on is the nail bone. All they're waiting on is, you know, just more defensive cards, whatever they need. Well, look at this zero security. Oh, I think we have a scoop. There it is. Good games. Yep. Couldn't Good stop games. that last attack. 
Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. tough, right? Green removal. I mean, uh, green doesn't have that. Removal, nope. Right? Like, uh, not unless you got a green blue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth it because I was just loving how much the Mimi does and the hybrid here. But Yeah. All right, my guy. Well, congratulations to Beale Star. That was a great Good match. Job. Great win tonight. Can't wait to see you guys next week. Uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, leave some comments on this video. Let us know uh, what you think, and we'll see you next week with another finals match.